rebound Milwaukee and making ends meet. The high cost of housing and high unemployment can lead families to double up. It's one or more families or perhaps multiple generations sharing a home or an apartment. A living arrangement with some benefits, yes, but risks as well, especially during the pandemic. Kelly Morris Larkin lives in a four bedroom home with her husband, three teenagers and her 88 year old father. The teens are following strict rules to isolate, but her father still goes out. The other day he wanted to go to the grocery store and I'm like, no, you can't, you know, you just can't do that, Dad. Sociologist Hope Harvey studies families and housing. Before the pandemic, she interviewed families who were doubled up for economic reasons, childcare or elder care. Despite the benefits, many moms worried about drawbacks like reduced parenting authority arguments on child rearing and conflicting lifestyles. And obviously during a pandemic, you might not just be concerned about bad influences coming in. You might also be concerned about basically anyone coming in. If you have uh, your teenage child living at home and they're going out and maybe seeing friends whenever you don't know about it um, or their friends want to stop by the house and you're trying to control that. I think you have to respect each other. Harvey says the rates of doubling up have increased over the past decade and with the economic uncertainty caused by job loss during the pandemic. It's likely the number of families doubling up in the coming months will increase. If you'd like a